So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1362 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P1362 code? Well, it's a no signal in TDC1 sensor circuit error code. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer has seen a problem with this TDC sensor, more commonly called the camshaft position sensor. And what it does is it just reports back to the onboard computer the location of the camshaft as it spins. And the onboard computer uses this for timing. And it's seen a problem inside of this. So it's going to be troubleshooting to why. And some possible causes of a P1362 code. Well, it could be a bad sensor. It could be in the wiring. It could be in blow and fuse. And possibly a bad crank sensor. And possibly a timing belt. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate all the TDC sensors or the camshaft position sensors located on your particular Honda. Since there can't be some different differences. For example, here's a 2003 Honda Civic and the camp sensor is located behind the timing belt cover towards the top of the engine. And this can vary. Sometimes there could be two camp sensors, one for the exhaust and one for the intake. And so it's always a good idea to go find a diagram for your particular engine to know where the sensors are located and how many there is. Older vehicles often had one and newer ones often have two. Although again, it can vary. And once you locate the camshaft position sensor, next thing to do, check out the wiring real good. Be sure Everything's connected good and basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor and you can't check out the wiring if you want to there can be differences in how these are wired older vehicles often had two wires newer ones can have like five wires and some of them by far the most common is three wires and so again it's always a good idea to get a diagram and schematics for your particular vehicle but three wire ones are fairly common and what's going on with these is, is that you'll have a ground and you'll have power when the key goes into the on position, you'll get power to the circuit. And then you have a signal wire going back to the onboard computer that every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of the sensor, it sends a pulse back to the onboard computer. And so you can check it and be sure you get a good ground. You can check and be sure you're getting voltage. And there's different ways you can test the signal wire, like with continuity or things like this. And there's some good YouTube videos on how you go about checking the wiring if you want to. Another thing to mention is that these are on a fuse. And if the fuse blows, then it can cause issues like no start, things like this. And again, the location of the fuse can vary sometimes. Sometimes it's in the engine compartment. Sometimes it's up underneath the dash. For example, here's a 2015 Honda CRV, and it's labeled ACG. It'll be up underneath the dashboard on the driver's side, and it would be fuse number two. And if that blew, then it would cause a problem since those sensors wouldn't get no voltage. And so if you check that all out and that looks good, the wiring looks good, there's no blowing fuses, very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. The sensor itself is usually pretty easy to replace. It usually just has like one or two bolts on it and a wiring harness, but sometimes it can be located in difficult spots. Again, it's really gonna vary depending on the engine and the year. So you have to go and check it out and see how difficult it is to get to. And another thing to mention about this code is that anything that throws off the timing could possibly give you a P1362 code. So this also can include the crankshaft position sensor, which is located down by the crank, and possibly the timing belt. If the timing belt becomes stretched or it slipped a notch, then it could throw off the timing and there might not be no problem with the sensors and it's just that timing belt is too stretched or slipped a notch and it's just throwing off the timing enough that the onboard computer thinks there's a problem with the sensors. So that's always something to keep in mind. Another thing to mention is that sometimes depending on the year of the Honda and the engine, they might have a relearn process that the onboard computer has to go through. Again, it could vary. You might want to Google your year and engine type and check to see if there's a relearn process for the camshaft position sensor. Sometimes you can swap it out and it'll be Good to go and then other times you could swap it out but they have a relearn process that the computer has to go through so be sure to google that and look through the forms or look through a manual to find out if your particular honda has a camshaft position sensor relearn process and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a video on how you go about fixing a honda with the p1362 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day